morning, guys. It is nine o'clock and I'm in Kyoto right now. I've actually come out here to shoot a very specific project, a project that I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna be able to pull off and I've got Victor with me. Yeah. We've got about 48 hours to get all the shots we need, but first. Hey dude, breakfast? Oh, already on it, man. All right, let's go. Traditional Kyoto breakfast. Here we are. Here we, no. <laughs> breakfast was good and now we've got to go start the shoot, I guess. But this shoot comes with a little bit of a challenge. You see, I want to talk to and interview as many Kyoto locals as I can. It should be fine, but mm. we're just, we'll just give it our best. Yeah, do it. All right, it's time to go grab the car. So we just approached some people. They said the other side of Kyoto, like Arashiyama, uh -huh. might be the better bet. So we might head over there. Finish up our interview um, at, the, at the hotel. Uh and she kind of told us the same thing which is we should head over to the other side of the city one thing i will say is that kyoto is incredibly tiny yes and had we not already rented the car mm -hmm. i plan on doing the entire thing by bicycle probably would have been a better bet with all these tiny roads like i'm yeah. rushing up against clothing on that <laughs> side and bicycles on this side you know we also got to swing by that tunnel Yes. In case you didn't see it, there's this tunnel that has a mirror over above. It's supposed to be a haunted tunnel and, you, you know, we'll, we'll tell the story when we get there. <laughs> I had a headache all day for some reason. I don't know why. The last time I hit the Philosopher's Path was 2005. Okay, you gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> and since it's a beautiful area, let's spend a few minutes here before I try and box off some interviews. This might be my favorite sign I've seen in years of our garage, non-official human parking one's bicycle. No, thank you. I've never wanted to be an official human so much in my entire life. There's a very specific shot that I, I want to see with my own eyes that I've never seen. I haven't even gotten to where I want to go yet, and this entire area just feels like... Doesn't this feel like some magical forest? It doesn't even feel like you're in a city. <laughs> so we got to the spot. This is actually it here. I don't know why. Since 2005, I've wanted to come to this spot. Uh, if you can guess the movie that this was in, it's a very easy guess. You get 10 points. Now, uh, now we get to do the walk. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Between the laptop and everything in the backpack and all the camera gear, this is <laughs> nerve wracking. Just a little, just a little. Don't fall in, it's easy. Just don't fall in. Yeah, the gentleman that we ran into at the Philosopher's Path recommended that we come out here. One of the reasons being is that I want to see as much of empty Kyoto as I possibly can. And I was nervous yesterday when we came <laughs> in. There were so many people, but it was a holiday. We've been here now for the better part of at least an hour. Oh, easily, easily. And it has just been empty and peaceful and beautiful it's like we have the place all to ourselves like i honestly don't think that i'll ever have this experience again a small part of me hopes that i'll never have really glad that i can share it with you guys but all things since we're, we're kind of running out of time we've we've pretty much run out of daylight and there's somewhere we need to be tonight i think we might have to do the other side the bamboo forest side and all of that tomorrow <laughs> Documentary. 
、あの京都生まれ育ちなんですよね。はい。ありがとうございます。We uh we just had a chance to talk to. They were really nice. Yeah, they're pretty cool. One of the guys apparently just did an overseas homestay in Los Angeles. Wow. All in all, today I've probably approached what ten people. About that, through different three different areas of the city. Not one bad experience yet. Yeah. And we have something else that we need to shoot tonight. And I'm starting to get hungry. Food time? Food time, I'm hungry. Alright. 7 22, we have grabbed dinner. <laughs> we had McDonald's, don't judge me. We are at Fushimi Inari Shrine right now. We're taking a quick peek because tonight we're going through this entirely in the dark. It has been a dream of mine. For so long. This place is spectacularly beautiful at night. Just wow. The struggle here is that Victor and I need to get some sleep in order to wake up early enough to get this completely the way that we want to. But you just want to go through it all right now. You're like, we could do it twice. It's only. It's like I've never, I have never, I never experienced a night like this. When we stopped at the illustrious McDonald's for dinner, I was ready to pass out right there at the table. I was exhausted. But now, now I am so awake. I'm hoping, hoping to be able to get some decent rest before we come out here at what we've estimated to be around three o'clock in the morning. So, this is my new official recommendation for Japan. Climb Fushimi Inari. I'd say if you're not recording like we are, you can start at like maybe 4 4 in the morning, depending on the season. Obviously, summer, the sun comes up a lot earlier, but during this season, the fall season, 4 4 is fine. You get to, oh, just wow. So, the goal for today continues to be to try and interview, and you know, I might, I might ask her. I think she'd be a nice interview. We told her that we wanted to buy some hot coffee to thank her for sharing the time with us. She offered us tea and she's like, you don't have to pay, just, just have a nice warm tea. But we, we got coffee. Arigatou gozaimashita. <laughs> Might have actually been the best part of the trip so far. Oh, hands down, that easy. Was just, that was, uh, we spent the better part of an hour just sitting and talking to her. She's a fascinating person. She、mm -hmm. was born and raised on this mountain, has an incredible amount of gratitude to her parents for getting her through the wartime and still being able to put food on the table and everything.、She、walks up and down this just to get groceries. She, Two hours. Yeah. I always thought there was another way, like they would use a service <laughs> or something. That's what I'd be expecting. Ten o'clock. <laughs> We've been out here for seven hours. Seven hours. How? We're gonna swing by these yatai vendors over here and see if one will grant us an interview and maybe some food. That's only ice and water. Thank you very much. Came into this project really, really apprehensive that no one was gonna want to be interviewed. That people were gonna be like, no, no, get away. I was really genuinely nervous about it. We both have full memory cards and empty batteries, so we need to rectify that situation and then get on the road. It is 10 39. We are at least two hours behind where we thought we would be. Yeah. So I guess our next stop is Kinkakuji. Let's go. Golden Temple's always nice. Looking forward to it. <laughs> 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 of course, of course, that would be our luck. We came out to King Kakuji. We both had something we really wanted to get there, and it is, it is covered in a sheet and closed. I mean, when you go to Kyoto, you, it's, it's inevitable, right? It is. Yeah. <laughs> it's no less disappointing, though, is it? No, no. <laughs> Thank you. 
We've come out to the Arashiyama area. The temperature has been all over the place today. Come out to Arashiyama and see this quiet is just something else. There have been like a few people walking through here and there, but not big crowds, nothing crazy. You can actually hear more birds than people. I'm probably the loudest person here right now. Sorry. It's honestly something I didn't think that I'd ever be able to see, so. I didn't realize how much I'd missed Kyoto though. I just pretty much given up on it once it got overcrowded. I didn't, I didn't think I'd ever be able to come back and enjoy it. It's really different when it's this empty and when it's super crowded, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video for you guys to kind of show you what it's like when it's a little more... It's... <laughs> Victor just messaged me letting me know he's in the, in the grounds now. Look at this little pond. Like... <laughs> the bottom of the tripod just suddenly fell off. All right, that is a sign. That is a sign. I'm putting the camera away and just oh, see you guys after dark. Okay. He was awake like a minute ago. Hey, Victor. Hmm? Guess where we are? In case you don't know the backstory, Victor and I came out here a while back and the tunnel that we just went through, Kiyotaki Tunnel, is said to be haunted. But there's a mirror up here <laughs> that they say that if you look into and you don't see your reflection, it means that you're going to die. Victor wasn't willing to look into it last time. No. He, he just straight up refused to look <laughs> into it. How are you feeling? I mean... It Aside from there being no rain, it's still creepy as hell. <laughs> this particular mirror is pointing down because this is an incredibly steep hill, so it's to help you see if anyone's coming over the other side, but... So, are you ready? I have no choice, right? <laughs> okay. It's actually creepy. It's actually creepy. Am I under it? Are you under it? Yeah, it looks like you're under it. Okay, can you see yourself? <laughs> okay, yeah, I can I can see myself. Can it's your go. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay, I can see myself. And yeah. you're there. Okay, yeah, cool. But yeah, totally not scary. <laughs> hey, cake, whatever. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Alright, bye. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you. Bye. Subscribe. I will say this much though, Kyoto people are an absolute pleasure. I have probably talked to 20 plus people and every single person has just been a delight to interact with. So thank you Kyoto.